Hey, man, I done took over the studio, man. If you last subscribe show, I'm your boy, Big Church, from Big Church Podcast. You dig? Pay your tags on the spot. Stay away from short pocket thoughts. You dig? Hey, man, we're here today with my homie, man. He showed me love, you know what I'm saying? I had him on my show a couple of, uh, I'm going to say episode 70. He came and blessed me, man. So I took it over the studio, you know what I'm talking about? My boy Omega, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Shout out to everybody in the city that's doing something, man. Shout out to all the podcasts. No hate around here, man, because we need each other, man. Black folks, hey, man, we need each other at the end of the day, bro. Shout out to Cruise Control. Shout out to my guys out there in uh, East Nashville, man, 6 one fifth. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to all these guys. Salsaville. All y'all, man. The summer was dope. I got out there, man, and met some real people, bro. And uh, we need these folks today, man. At the end of the day, bro, we gotta we need each other. So, bro, big church is here. I'm here. I can't believe it, man. It's so glossy in here, man. You know, had to turn up for the city, man. Y'all know me, man. You know, if you don't know me, you know me, man. Hey, big church podcast. Go to big church TV on YouTube channel. And uh, man, I got so much stuff I gotta say, man. I've been doing this thing since 2018, man. You know. Had the old stuff, all this new technology stuff, man. Hey, we wasn't doing any back then. We just had a dollar in the dream to make some cream. You feel me? But I got a lot of folks that's dedicated to this thing, man. And I'm glad I'm one of the first that done it for the city and the people around me taking it, man, and taking it to a whole nother plateau. You dig? Man, and I got folks, man, I want to shout out that uh got products instead of frying chicken and fish all day. You know, we do juices and air fresheners. You know, first of all, you know, I want to shout out to my sponsor. My sponsor, man, Buy Your Gold Drinks, man. One of the best drinks in the city, man. Holla at my man Skeet Roberts. You got the best drink in the city, man. You know, it's good for, it's nutritional. You working out or you had a bad sex night, you get you right back. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Turmeric, ginger, no sugar, purified water, man. Get you right back where you need to be. Hey, man, for you smokers. You know, y'all smoking out there, I seen y'all hot box. I may be on Interstate 40, and I smell that good, you know, that good left-hand cigarette, like my, grandma, like my granddaddy used to say. OG air fresheners, man. I promise, two skeets. The police won't give you a ticket or take you to jail, man. Shout out to my homeboy, Fox Arelli, man, as one of my co-hosts on my Big Church podcast. And this one, oh, man, candy cleanse. Shout out to Shavonda. Crawford, man. Weiss Creek, you know what I'm saying? Class of 95. You got to say that. If you Nashville, you know what I'm saying? You got to shout out Weiss Creek. But this drink here, hey man, it's a candy cleanse. Man, to get all that mucus out of you, get that top intestines, man, all that stuff y'all trying to trap up because we're getting older. You got to get this stuff up out of you, man. You know what I'm saying? It tastes good. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher, a Jolly Rancher actually. And um, this is a Tropical Punch, and I love it. Y'all need to go get that, man. Holler at my people, man. We got a Embrace this ecosystem, y'all. For real. At the end of the day, man. Black folks, we need it. We need each other. Because the hate and who's doing what, we don't need that. Hey, man. Congratulate. Participate. That's what we need. That's why that man called me. I said, hey, man, I'm out the way, man. I'm, don't burn no bridges because you never know who you need in this lifetime. And I'm getting older. Y'all see all this great, but I'm still cool and sexy. You know what I'm talking about? But, but anyway, you know, it ain't about me. Ricky is on the way. You know what I'm talking about? And I know y'all love Rick. Y'all mad at the numbers. Y'all mad at everything. I ain't mad at them. I'm not. I'm doing the first, and I ain't saying I'm the best. And that's the doggone truth, man. But we're going to do this thing together, and everybody out here in the city that's coming together and doing positive stuff, man, we want to deal with, especially on this podcast. And that's why I'm here. Church on the move. Pay your tithes on the spot. Stay stay away from short pocket thoughts. Church. <clears throat> Was I fumbling too much? <laughs> hey, <laughs> big church, I know what you trying to do, ho. <laughs> I know you trying to. You, this man just came to try to take over my show. This man, this man, look, I asked you to do a good job. I didn't ask you to do a, a great job, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Trying to come take my audience. Look, if you gonna watch church, still watch me. Don't go straight to church podcast and did 
don't want to come watch if you're live subscribe because that's my big homie but again man for real on a serious note man oh uh, that's my guy that's the first person that i saw doing this and i was like when i saw him, i was like whoo whoo so guess what so i always say don't don't be scared to get on these platforms and let people know where it came from you know what i'm saying giving people their props and so that's why I'm, I'm always gonna share my platform with the real people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't it ain't um, cool to share it with the people that ain't kind of keeping it solid. You know what I'm saying? Because I I understand that we trying to go together. It ain't no competition when it comes to what you're doing, because you just should be trying to be better than you the next day, and then the day after, and then the day after. But look, I want to, um, before y'all judge me on this, I want to hit me out. I'm signing with the Illuminati. <laughs> I'm signing. I'm, I'm, now hit me out. Think about this. Only person that complained about the Illuminati is Orlando Brown crazy ass. <laughs> you know, you know think, no, think about it. You ain't never heard of no blo broke person being in the Illuminati. You ain't, you ain't never heard about nobody dying in the Illuminati. You ain't never heard somebody say, yeah, you know, you know, such such the Illuminati and die. You ain't never heard heard about it. <laughs> Look, sign me in the, I'll, I'm going to the Illuminati. Sign me in the one that Jay-Z and Beyonce will. <laughs> That's the one I want to sign with. I'm not trying to sign with the Illuminati. The body, Bobby Brown signed to, and I sure ain't trying to sign to the one that Meek Mill signed to. I ain't doing it. I'm finna sign. I'm tired of, of just think about it. You ain't never heard of an unrich person being in the Illuminati. And I kind of see how it go. You know how to kind of like the Republicans and the Democrats, everybody got their own little circle. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of like, you know what the Illuminati got. It's just everybody got their own little, you know what I mean? So I'm signing. I'm signing with the one that Jay-Z and Beyonce and Yo Gotti and them signing will. Yeah. I'm signing on the dotted line, man. Because I'm not finna keep on hanging around these short pocket thoughts. <laughs> Like church say, yeah, I'm signing, man. I already, oh, you, you signing with me, bro? We 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 signed it. I'm let you know if you my family member and you not signing with me, don't ask for none of my riches. For real, I'm, oh, I'm signing to Illuminati for two reasons. Guess what the two reasons is? They rich and they get rich again. You ain't never heard nobody broke in the Illuminati, man. Okay, what you say? I'm signing. You can you can judge me all you want to, but like I said, guess what? I, look, guess what? Oh, they hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> the, look, look, I I didn't accept their friend request. I saw the DM. The, the DM said, "Welcome to the Illuminati. If you join us, your life gonna change." I left them on red. I didn't get to read the rest of it, though. But they DM me. Yeah, I'm signing, man. I don't care what y'all say. I know. I Joe, uh, Oh, they going to judge me, ain't they? They going to judge me. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care. They can judge me all they want to. I'm signing, man. I ain't playing. Every time somebody sign with the Illuminati, y'all say they doing big things. You ain't never heard nobody say nothing bad about the Illuminati, but like I said, Orlando Brown crazy ass. Just, just don't sacrifice me. <laughs> no, oh, I, I ain't gonna sacrifice. But serious, but on a serious note, I always think about the Illuminati and stuff. I really, on a serious note, I think it's a group of people that get together and they get in their own circle and they do their own thing. And they and they um grow on development and growth. You know what I'm saying? Just so you can say, yeah, church and Ricky and all them went Illuminati because we don't went to another level. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I, just all jokes aside, that's how I look at it. But today I want to talk about something. Shout out to Hot Boy Turk, man. I always tell y'all, when I want that interview, I'm gonna get that interview. And um 
when Turk hit me up through the DM, and he was like, man, let's do an interview on Instagram Live. Um, it's one thing to interview people who, because we all got our certain people that we want to interview, and that's one thing. But it's another thing to interview the, the people that I'm really a fan of Turk. You know what I'm saying? And uh, been a fan since Hot Boys and all that. And I thought about the interview. I was asking him about, like, the Hot Boy reunion. And he said something that that, that kind of I felt. It's kind of like we be speculating what's going on between him and the Hot Boys and stuff. But they on a whole nother page. You know what I'm saying? We trying to – we judging – we judging the whole thing by who's saying what, when, why, and we ain't even in they circle to really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And so, for me, why I always uplift Turkeys for this one reason, because if you watch me 24 hours a day, and I do everything right for 23 hours, and then you might catch me that one hour where I done, I, I, I done said something that you might didn't like or might didn't agree with. That don't make that don't uh, make me the person that you trying to make me out of because you might have caught one bad moment. You know what I'm saying? And then we looking at public figures. So, of course, they life is on front street. So you going to see bad moments, good moments. You know what I'm saying? And so um, Turk has done nothing but teach us the game. Even when it comes to monetization and TikTok and stuff like, so if, if 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 you ain't watching Turkey, you ain't and you ain't there when he teaching us the game, don't hop on his live when he's responding. <laughs> yeah, okay, so get what? Yeah, that's what we go. That's what it is. Uh you you can't respond today. That's what it is. You, you can't respond. If somebody says something about you, you just gotta sit back and say nothing. And that's why I always, I always, I always tell Turk, it don't matter if I DM him or holler at him for a minute, I always tell him like, yeah, the right thing, what you named that album is Joseph. Because it's, it's, it's some, some about when people think you the lowest person on the, on the totem pole. You know what I'm saying? It's just some about like they think, oh, he can say something, he can say something, but you can't say nothing. I've been in that, you know what I'm saying? I've been there. And so, I'm always going to hold, you know what I mean, Turk down. I'm always, like I said, I wanted that interview and he gave it to me. And I want him to sit down. I'll, come on, I'm waiting for him to come on the brown couch and he's going to come. But at the end of the day is, he understood that my platform ain't about no clickbait. I ain't on here trying to say something about somebody and get some clickbait and get out there like that. I don't want to go viral on no mess, just to be honest with you. Yeah, I can. No, nah, I don't, I don't want to go. I want to go viral on a good conversation. I want to go viral on, on, on motivating the people. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what I want to go viral on. You know what I mean? And so I understand in Turk defense, a lot of people ain't going to like me. Because I'm a, I'm a little outspoken. You know what I'm saying? They always, everybody always talking about getting it from the mud. Yeah, I had to. I had to. Yeah, I moved out. I moved out of my house. My grandmama told me. I was 14. She said, if you going to do crime, you can't stay here. She said, you can either choose crime or you can choose here. I chose crime. And so everybody always talking about being homeless and getting it from the mud. Uh, I tell my son and my daughter, both of them 14 now. I was I had a car at 14. Yeah, I was out there on the streets at 14. I had a pack in middle school. Yeah. So uh, I ain't I got it out the mud. I don't have to. I'm not gonna talk about it. And that's what I'm saying. I'm just I'm talking about Turk. Like he's been out 12 years and ain't had to ask nobody for nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so. That's why um, I like people's story. I like telling the truth, not hating. Yeah, because every time, just because I have to explain to somebody, just because I tell you the truth, that don't mean I'm hating on you. You know what I mean? So I like that. So again, man, um, thank God that I have a platform that's worthy of people, period, coming on it. 
But when you got the when when you got the celebrities like Turk and the Starlitos and all these type of people coming on your platform, uh, it uplifts me. Uh, my people love to watch it, and I and, and I respect that. I don't take it lightly. I don't take it lightly because I know these guys. You know what I'm saying? And try to uh, dim they light because I know you. No, I'm always going to be a fan of Turk like I was uh, when I didn't know him as now. You know what I'm saying? And so, again, shout out to Hot Boy Turk for keeping it real with a real one. Yeah, and that's me. Again. But look, this is what I want to. I, I, I want to come to somebody's defense on this. I watched the, I watched the Shay Shay and the Steve Stout interview. Loved it. Loved, uh, again, shout out to Club Shay Shay. Janet Sharp, I done said some crazy stuff about you. I ain't going to tell you, don't lie. Yeah, I done said some, you know what I'm saying? I done, I, um, just like when Steve Stout brought up the Skip Bayless. I hate it when you was with Skip. I hated it. Because I seen so many times to where you had to hold your tongue and not even make it in the race thing, but it's like you got to hold your tongue for the white man, but we don't hold our tongue for the black man. You know what I'm saying? And so I understood that you made the undisputed show, just like Stout was talking about. But this is what I didn't like about Stout. Well, you can say something about him working with Skip, but style, you has worked with just as many white men and not making nothing wrong with that. That ain't, that ain't, it ain't about that. But I'm saying, but we have all, you know, um, it's just like this. We have all dumped down a little bit to get to where we gotta go. You know what I'm saying? And so um, I get it, but hey, sharp man, you, it's time for you to get an interview. You need to come on if you're a live scrap show because we because uh we got questions for you. You know what I'm saying? And I know you have you have had great, amazing guests. And not just no questions on nothing bad, but you know, it's just it's just time for that major interview, you know what I mean, for you and, and what's going on and how you're feeling about all the success and stuff what you got going on because you asked, you asked out this, you asked out about LL Cool J being the top rapper. You know LL Cool J ain't no damn top rapper. You know L. Man, look, if anything, LL, you got it to where well, we got to put Vaseline on our lips all day, every day. We ain't even need no Vaseline at first. Then you licking lips and LL was super duper hot because he was cute. <laughs> let's, let's be, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you can't really put him in the, in the top rapper. You know what I'm saying, list. You know, and so, yeah, he got us wearing Vaseline on our lips and lip gloss and stuff, and, and we respect LL. I need love. We respect all that. But he's not he's not over a Snoop or LL. He got a, he got a long line of people to go through before you can say he's in the top, the top rap list. You know what I'm saying? And so, but I think about, shout out to Dane. If I would have closed my eyes and listened to that interview, I would have thought it was Dame Dash. I would have thought it was Dame. Think about this. I talk to my friend about this all day. It's about the energy that you're around to where you got to go. It seemed like Steve Stout, everything what you was talking about is what Dame been talking about i've been following dane for all these years everything you was talking about it's like what dane been talking about it's what dane been trying to do and so wouldn't you say like maybe you and jigger and shout out to jigger maybe you and jigger took the easy ride out about going the corporate way when dane been trying to be independent a long time because think about it steve style you that's, that's the only thing you was talking about with in independency you know what i'm saying and so Dame has been saying this for forever. A good thing. Look, this is a good thing about it. A good thing about this whole conversation is you got so many strong black men. You got the Shannon Sharp, the Steve Styles, the Dame Dash. You got the Jay-Z's. You got so many strong black men having, having a conversation. And, and has started a lot of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
And so, and, and so that's the thing. Um, I, I told the, yeah, you say, uh, nobody could work with Dane. That's what Steve said. Nobody could work with Dane. How come they could when they been working with him? They just couldn't work with Dane after they got the stardom that they got because they might have would have want to go another lane. I think about this. Think about this. I, 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 I'll ask Dame this. If I'm working with you, if I'm working with you, and I, I get a change of heart, and I'm like, you know what? Dame, you a good dude. He a good dude. I just want to do my own thing. How does that conversation go? How do I break that conversation off when I just want to go do something different? You know what I'm saying? And, and can we still be friends after that? That's the thing. Can we still be friends after that? Because like I said, Steve, we, you're talking about shoes and movies and commercials and all this stuff. And, and dang, been talking about this stuff. So, I mean, and shout out to Steve Stout and everything he's done. And, 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 and we bagging you up. This is, this is really a powerful conversation. But it sounded like dang Dash, the whole interview when he's talking about the independent of what we're trying to do you know what i'm saying and so and so yeah and so i think it's a good conversation um i know everybody's tired of hearing about jay-z and tame and uh but i think even with this i think about this well 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 what yay say kanye said that he said he said as long as i'm living dame will never be broke and i think about that and I think about it in a sense because, yeah, you know, Dane came up with this whole idea. You totally understand, Kanye, that if it wasn't no Dane, it wouldn't have been no Rockefeller. It might not have been a Jay-Z. It might not have been a Jay-Z. And so that's why I hold people like Dane to the utmost because I understand how many lives he have impacted. You know what I'm saying? And so we have to be more um, potential uh, uh, enough in the black community to understand who has shown you the way and who you've been inspired by. It's okay to say I'm inspired by this person. That don't mean that this person is bigger than you or you're smaller than them. You just was inspired by something they did and you went and did it and hopefully became great at it. So I, I want to end off and say this. If I'm your sensei and I'm teaching you what I know, if you add to it and make it better, I've done my job. So I say this to Dame, shout out to Dame Dash, and, and I want you to hear this, Dame. You have been a sensei to all these guys. These guys may have made it bigger than you, but guess what? You've done your job. If you're alive, subscribe.